basically finished with our website. We like the way it looks. Um, and we want to take a look at this top row. The first thing is within the settings and really it just says header and footer. Uh, and this is more or less taking off the um, Adobe Spark watermark. And if you do that, it does ask you to replace the logo with your own logo, but you have to upgrade in order to do that. Um, like I said, there's really not necessarily a reason uh, unless you absolutely need to get that removed because really what it does, and we'll look at it in a second, is it adds a footer to your video or your website that has um, credits to so the images that you used within the site if you use them from uh, the places that they offer for free, which is really pretty neat. So we'll take a look. Preview button is what uh, will give you sort of the option to just kind of take a look and see what the finished product might look like. So before publishing it, uh, you'll notice that as you're scrolling through, things move at certain points, like the captions will sort of fade in as you get higher. Um, same thing with some of these others down below. There's the more text there. Here's your side by side with the image in the box. And now we're getting into um, our glide shows, which again, here's our bear here and our other one over on the right. And then we did another one with this uh, polar bear here. But if we wanted to, this is something I didn't cover, but let's say you're going through the finished product and you really don't like how low that bear is. You really want it to be a little bit higher. Let's X out of this. And what you can do with your images, which again is, is a pretty handy thing, um, is you can adjust the focal point. So if you click on a picture, a bigger picture or a small one, you can click on the focal point and drag to the point of the picture that you want to be the primary focus. Because again, this is a pretty high, tall picture over here. Uh, and so you can decide where you, the middle of the picture will be. And that's kind of the focus there. So we're going to change that. I didn't end up putting any information in this, which is why it didn't show up in the finished version. Um, but let's take another look at that. Let's take a preview look at that real quick. So we'll give it a second to load. And now there we go. That bear is much more centered where we wanted it to be, which is handy. And you'll notice down at the bottom, here are the credits. And then again, your Adobe Spark watermark at the bottom, which you can remove by getting the premium version uh, or the teacher version. So uh, we've, we've gone through it. We think it looks pretty good. Now we're going to present. This is one thing that you can have your students do if they want to present this as opposed to um, as opposed to giving a slideshow presentation, you can just with your keys up and down, um, go up and see one thing after the other, um, which is really pretty a, a cool way to have um, kids do different types of slideshow presentations. So again, it starts from the top and you go down and you can read the text and go down and there's a picture and so on and so forth. You can still drag and change from thing to thing, but these arrows are really pretty handy. The last option is the share button. And obviously we want to be able to publish this and use it as just a website. So if you click publish uh, share, you can give it a title, give it a category, again, choose the author. Um, that is something you can turn on and off. The photo credits are down at the bottom which you can enjoy. And here you've got uh, your project may be featured. You can turn that on or off as well. I might as well leave it on, although I'm probably not going to, uh, oh, I got to choose a category, sorry. Say it's education, I'm gonna create a link. So uh, in creating my link, um, we'll get a, a shareable URL right here. You can share it into Classroom. Obviously it'll show up on Twitter and Facebook and email and you can also embed it, which is a really, really great tool. The other option is to print. If you click the print button, it will turn it into a PDF uh, and it's pretty well put together. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but uh, it's definitely printable if this is something that needed to be printed. Um, okay, so it showed up. So you've got your title page on the front. Here's your second page of information. Again, you've got your uh, smaller boxes. Uh, there was our side-by-side -side with a little bit of text, and here's our slide, uh, the slideshows there, and then credits at the bottom. So this would be a printable option if you want to go that route. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And then once you've got it created, um, you can share that link out, send it to people, and it will always be available when you go back to your um, Spark Home as just another option, there is your uh, your Bear website there. So hope you uh, enjoy our little walkthrough of these websites. And uh, you can see, obviously, the use that these would have in the classroom. Super easy ways to, to put really cool looking websites together uh, for your students. So hopefully you take a look at it um, and we'll see you next time.